Hey everyone, how's it going? This is a crazy day again with katytech.org. Um, there's been an onslaught of questions across all the message boards, forums, regarding the leaked and hopefully tomorrow over the air update of Gingerbread for the Joy Charge. Now, I'm going to cover some basic over the air stuff with regards to routing and what you should and shouldn't have and so forth. This will actually cover pretty much any phone in general. Um, so if you're interested in watching for uh, covering another Android phone, please feel free to do so because the principles are the same. Uh, some of the redundant questions that we're getting are, uh, what do I do? My phone is rooted and I have you know, all this custom stuff on it, custom kernels, custom modems, antennas, whatever the case may be. Well, the only way you're going to get the over-the-air update is if you go back to the previous stock version of whatever system you were using. Uh, and, the, and the Droid Charge, it's Froyo. So you need to revert to EE4 stock, okay? That'll put your phone back into its original state, and it will communicate to the tower appropriately, and will receive the over-the-air update, which comes in sections. They don't release it across the whole United States at once. It'll usually come in parts, some areas. I'm making this up, but maybe the East Coast will get it first. It'll drop into sections, and then we'll get it. The advantage of getting it uh, is covered by uh, I'm Nuts. Uh, he did a great post, real short. Um, basically, you're going to get the official modems. Um, you're going to get a system dump, and you're going to get the stock kernel. Um, you really want these parts. Uh, the disadvantage is you will be unrooted, but developers will very shortly root the phone. So basically, whatever state your phone is in, back it up. Back up everything. Then you'll follow the link in the show notes. I have everything on there. It'll take you to I'm Nuts posts, and uh, it'll have step by step. But basically, whatever phone, whatever system you're running, however custom it is, you have to revert back to a standard stock version in order to receive the cell tower over the air update. Uh, the exception to that is if you choose to use the leaked version, which is a file you can flash via Odin, um, then you can go ahead and do the standard Odin flashing process. Uh, the only issue with that is. Um, Maybe there's a change when the over-the-air update comes. Maybe not. But again, you still would have to go back to EE4, stock Froyo, and then you'd flash through the process that is spelled out by MNUTS, and uh, you'd be good to go. You'd have all of those pieces. Um, that's pretty much it here. I, I had a couple different questions that people were asking, but basically, unrooted, EE4 stock. Um, it's the official copy and you flash it either by Odin or over the air. Um, it'll bring you to what is called Gingerbread EP4P. Okay, EP4P is just a, kind of an arbitrary label they give to it. That's their versioning number from Verizon and Samsung. Uh, some other people on here, just to cover some of the questions. Um, one person said, if I install it again, uh, and then I go to non root EP4P release, will I void my warranty? No more so than what you've already done to your phone. Uh, you've pretty much hacked your phone completely anyway, so uh, you just have to go back to stock and you'd be back to normal and your coverage should probably be the same. Um, and uh, will I get the update notification if there's an OTA over the air update uh, for EP4P? If you've flashed anything custom again, Generally speaking, almost every single .tar file that you flash, regardless of what it is, is not going to give you the over-the-air update. Generally. There are some exceptions to that. But just assume whatever custom versions you're running have to be undone, undone in order for you to get back to it. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay, hey, I just wanted to add uh, a little bit of a warning to this whole process. Uh, you may want to wait and not do the over-the-air update right away. This goes for any model phone. Um, in the past, over-the-air updates sometimes cause glitches and issues. So if your phone's running the way you like it, you have it rooted, you have it running in custom ROM, everything is just perfect, um, you have all the software you like, all the apps are running great, uh, all the rooted stuff that you would lose by going to Gingerbread, well, don't do it then. Just wait a little bit 
and watch what the developers come out with and then go forward from there. That way you can still get the modems and all the other pieces a little bit later. But it's not an uncommon thing to see glitches, um, even forced closes, some crazy stuff sometimes happens to people's phones with over-the-air updates, uh, especially going from a to a whole new operating system, not just an update of the current one, but a fully new operating system. Um, we're probably going to see some stuff, and we're going to see some responses on the message boards for help. Uh, worst case scenario is, is that your phone actually stops talking to the cell towers. I don't want to freak everybody out, but there is the potential that you may run into some problems. Um, that being said, waiting 24 or 48 hours to see where everybody else, you know, ends up might be a good thing. Um, that's pretty much it on that subject. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope that helps you out with the over-the-air updates. Feel free to make uh, any posts in the comment section. Um, I'll try to answer them as best I can. Uh, again, I'm Crazy Dave. You can follow me at Twitter, uh, at Crazy Dave. Uh, I'm actually starting up with the Google Plus stuff. Again, Crazy Dave. And then uh, please subscribe to uh, my feed here on the channel. Uh, it just motivates me to keep making more videos. Uh, that's it. If I know people are watching and uh, want it, I'll keep making more. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot. See ya.